Oakland from left to right in the black. It's the final home game of the season for the Oakland Roots. They expect over 5,000 tonight, and they need this one for their playoff hopes. It's Oakland and Birmingham for the first time ever in the USL Championship. Here's Asokar. Carlson back for Asokar, who finds a way through for Mella. Chipped over the top opportunity here. It's stopped by Van Oakel. Dennis. Barbier gives it away carelessly. Here's Agudelo. Great touch into space. Juan Agudelo closing in. Still with it. Lost it at the last. Shot saved by Blanchett. No! It trickles in. Got the left hand to it. It bounded over. And Enzo Martinez has another one. 14 on the year. And as it comes back through, right there. Little hesitation, recognizes the steps coming over to his right side, opens up his hips, gets it behind the back line. Expect better quality out of Agadell in this situation. But there's the movement that I talked about. I don't care that it's off a redirect or a missed tackle or a deflection. The quality shines through once again for what has to be Hernandez finds Asokar. Asokar sends it ahead, looking for Mafeka. It's loose in front. Carlson, number 18. A quick response for the Roots. Post now, he actually underhits it. It's not a great clearance, and it's in the worst of spots. Comes down underneath, an absolute no no defending wise. And he knows it. Behind Cronali, behind Kavita. It's for your body to continue forward, and Mikey Lopez just felt that he was going to give himself the best opportunity by leaving his feet, going to ground, but using his head. Agadello on the right foot, easily gobbled up by Blanchett. Well, any angle you look at this one from, a quick response from the Roots. Martinez 21st, Carlson 24th. Here we are in the 26th, Roots threatening again. Dennis comes up quickly on Van Okel. And he grabs it. They're just having some trouble. Communication's a little bit off. The spacing between Cronali, Cavita, and Mikey Lopez as well. A little bit of cause for concern. But the good news is, is the momentum is still there going the other way. Here's Marlone. Cuts it in front. Deflected. Saved by Blanchett. Scrambling again. Oakland this time. Blanchett keeps it out. I like the fact that Johnny Dean doesn't force the issue here himself. He's got so much speed behind himself. He could... Asiadu has acres of space. Good first touch as well. Asiadu has a go of it! Stopped by Blanchett! Wow! Being given, and he said, okay, fine. You want to give me all this space? I'll do it. Tark Borat, last time, showed him way too much of the end line. This time, doesn't know which way. Granali over the top. Good ball. Played inside. The header goal word saved by Blanchett. Not much on the header. I'll give you that in a second. Lapa trying to find a way through to Martinez. Now Haravo brings it back underneath. Haravo, test plan, Chet. It's out for a corner. We'll come back to that in a second. I probably need a few more seconds to pick my teams anyway, so. Birmingham Legion team. Remember, you can compact the field against them. They can also play wide open, but as you bring it into a much more constrict. When Mayor brings it down. Now Diaz over on the left side to the back post. It's open and it's in. Juan Asokar makes it two to one Oakland. In front of 5,509 strong at Laney. The Roots have life in the playoff race. Back line, it's really easy. As you take this back up over the top, what did I just say to you? Secondary runs. Memo Diaz wins that argument and then you lose track of one of the most dangerous players in the field. Predictability is one thing. Quality and class is another. From Azakar on the back post. There's the one-two punch, the drift off the backside. The next two Saturdays at Hartford, at Pittsburgh. Also factor in a pair of trips to the East Coast and back again. There's a ball. Slotted through here, chance to equalize, stopped by Blanchett. Final whistle blows at the end of the night. Oakland Roots above the playoff line in seventh. They close their 2022 home slate. In